Nick Gelfus's character, Dr. Will Halstead, was in a hot spot at the end of season 7. He was trapped in a burning building alongside Dylan Scott, played by Guy Lockhart, and it didn't look as though either would be able to make it out alive. NBC has issued new photos for season 8, and in today's video, we'll be discussing what you need to know about the character heading into the new season. First of all, is Will Halstead coming back to Chicago Med? Chicago Med is starting to roll out information regarding the upcoming season. In addition to putting out a teaser clip, the medical drama has released pictures that shed light on the fate of certain characters, especially Will and Dylan. Granted, we're talking about two of the show's main characters, so there was always going to be a way that they figured their way out of harm's way, or at least for the most part. Well, Halstead was briefly glimpsed in the One Chicago teaser that NBC recently put out, there's always some suspicion as to whether the teaser is giving an accurate representation of what fans should be expecting. Fortunately, the promotional photos confirm that Halstead is indeed healthy and back in the mix at Gaffney Medical Center. We'll get to see Halstead and Scott share an intimate moment, which makes sense given the tense situation they've lived through. Right now, it's unclear whether the near-death encounter will have any lingering effect on the characters, especially given Scott's past experience as a police officer. Either way, it's encouraging to see both men back on the job. Another photo revealed of Maggie Lockwood, played by Marlene Barrett, and Halstead suggests that there are still some things that he's working through. In the picture, it's unclear if she's wiping tears or tending to a minor injury on Halstead's face, but we'll find out soon enough. Of course, the irony is that Will was the Halstead that one Chicago fans were worrying about going into the new seasons, only to find out that the other Halstead, Jay, is the one who'll be leaving. It was confirmed by actor Jesse Lee Soffer that the upcoming season of PD will be his last meaning that Will's going to be the only active sibling in the franchise. We'll miss Jay for sure. There have been whispers of a One Chicago crossover taking place this year, but even if that doesn't happen, we hope to see a final scene between the two Halstead brothers. The tears will be in full effect for sure. Next, is Dylan Scott leaving Chicago Med? Chicago Med caught viewers off guard during the finale of Season 7. While the show has had its fair share of cliffhanger endings in the past, nothing could prepare fans for the deadly situation that Dr. Halstead and Dr. Scott were left in. The duo were left trapped in a burning apartment building after Scott had tried to defend a cop with a blown cover. They were boxed in on both sides with seemingly no way out to escape. So, will Scott make it out alive and return for season 8, or will he perish in the blaze? Right now, it looks like Scott will return next season. The Doctor has only been around for a single season, and yet has become one of the most essential characters on the show, thanks to his past as a police officer. He's been involved in several of the most interesting cases, and his desire to help other cops is what landed him in the deadly finale situation in the first place. Scott's return is pretty inevitable, given the cliffhanger construction of the finale. He and Halstead are guaranteed to get out, given that they are both the male leads of the show. That said, we don't know if either of them will get injured in the fire, or if Scott's decision to engage with a case beyond his medical rights will land him into trouble. Plus, Chicago Med Season 8 photos tease a potential exit. While the promo photos confirm that Dr. Will Halstead makes it out of the tricky situation he was stuck in last season, since he can be seen alongside several of the other characters, the absence of a particular doctor suggests that she might be gone for good. The doctor in question is Sarah Rafferty's character, Pamela Blake. She was introduced as a foil to Dominic Reigns' Dr. Marcel in Season 7, and together they developed a strong yet unpredictable predictable romance. The season ended with Blake undergoing surgery for the condition that made her hands shake, and due to complications during the procedure, Marcel decided to prioritize her life. Blake soon awoke to discover that she had suffered a stroke during the surgery and was unable to feel her face or hands. She's understandably horrified and pretty resentful of Marcel's decision. The episode ended on a very vague note, making it unclear whether she would return or be forced to retire due to her condition. If the season 8 photo photos are to be believed, then Blake will no longer be at Gaffney. She's not in any of the promo pictures, and she's also notably absent from the med promotional poster that was put out on all social media accounts. While Marcel can be seen in the left corner, another doc, Jesse Schramm's Hannah Asher, is placed front and center, while Blake is MIA. While it's possible that Blake could be returning for an episode or two to properly wrap up her arc, there's little to suggest that she could stick around for the long term. The NBC promo 
shows rarely mislead the fans in terms of who will be present, so we're pretty confident that the poster and the photos are telling us everything we need to know about Blake's future. And now for some other related news. Firstly, why did April Sexton leave Chicago Med? April Sexton, played by Yaya DaCosta, played a huge role in Chicago Med. She was a sounding board for the other members of the Gaffney Medical Center and a compelling character who often enriched the lives of those surrounding her. DaCosta's decision to leave the show at the end of season 6 made sense, especially considering she went on to land a starring role in another show. But the question which still remains is, will the character return in Chicago Med season 8? Andrew Schneider, Chicago Med's showrunner, discussed the possibility of April's return during an interview with TV Insider. He said that the show has a strong relationship with DaCosta and left the door open for a possible return in the future. There's a definite hint for her return since Med recently brought back Jesse Schramm's Dr. Hannah Asher after seeing her exit several seasons earlier. Now she seems to be one of the show's main characters heading into season 8. With DaCosta's career path in mind, it seems pretty unlikely that she'll make a return to Chicago Med anytime soon though. She's busy with other television roles and given the turnover the series has had to contend with, it would make sense for the writers to prioritize new characters. We won't write off April's return, but we don't expect it'll happen anytime soon. Next, changes in NBC's One Chicago schedule. NBC has reportedly thought about ditching its 10 p.m. time slot from next year, which means that there will be several shakeups in terms of scheduling and even potentially some cancellations. Hit shows will now be faced with a new time slot, which could hurt their ratings enough to get them removed from the network lineup altogether. There may be some confusion about the time change since Chicago PD fills the 10 p.m. time slot on Wednesday, but since Chicago Fire and PD are the network's top one and two scripted shows, there's more eagerness to move Med around because the risks are lower. Of course, if NBC decides that they don't want to break up One Chicago's lineup, the network could simply pull the plug on Med and cancel it outright after season 8 ends. It would be a real shock given its strong performance, but there are guaranteed to be casualties if the network pulls the trigger on giving up the 10 p.m. slot. Fingers crossed that Med is about to get out of the situation intact. And finally, is Chicago Med in danger of being cancelled? Chicago Med is stronger than ever. Well, in terms of ratings, the medical drama has continued to draw strong viewership for NBC, and its status as part of the Wednesday 1 Chicago lineup seems pretty airtight. Unfortunately, some changes will be made in the show's future. As we know, Med has been a steady earner for the network since it debuted in 2015. The season finale 6.2 drew a million viewers, which was more than Chicago PD, a show that is generally considered to be more popular. Med really does benefit from being the first show in the One Chicago lineup, however, and the consequences of removing that could be severe. The timing isn't ideal since Med has fewer seasons in the can than PD or Fire, and it has yet to be renewed for additional seasons. If, for whatever reason, it were moved to another night, then it would have to fight to maintain its ratings and justify its renewal in the same season. And that's a wrap for this video. Are you excited for Chicago Med Season 8? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you in the next video.